Is there anything more manly in life than throwing a hatchet? Think about it. It involves mental visualization, the coordination of both the mind and the body, and proper execution, release, and follow through. Of course, it doesn't hurt to stand close either. Hey guys, Robbie Sonda here with a little godly advice for living a more meaningful life. Although its origin is unknown, there's an old English idiom that Native American Indian tribes from North America used to use when disputes, territorial squabbles, and even wars were being resolved. It was called burying the hatchet. This wasn't just a phrase, it was actually an official ceremony where quarrels officially ended. Disputes were settled, peace was declared, and friendships were restored. Well, in essence, this is kind of the central theme or linchpin of our faith, forgiveness. It's one of the first things we do when we put our trust in Christ, we seek forgiveness. And then, of course, we learn to forgive others. Well, the Bible is filled with all kinds of examples and stories of this forgiveness theme. Jesus told us to forgive others not seven times, but 70 times seven times. Peter asked Jesus to forgive him three different times for denying him. The Lord's Prayer tells us to forgive us our debtors, and then even Jesus on the cross says, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Well, today we're taking a look at 1 Corinthians 13.5, where it says, love does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Well, there's a reason this verse is used at a lot of wedding ceremonies. It's because we tend to be at our worst when it comes to our spouses. It's like the one lady who was telling her friend, she said, when my husband and I get in an argument, he gets historical. And she said, you mean hysterical? And she said, no, historical. He tells me everything I've ever done wrong. Guys, let's keep this real simple. If you're married, stop trying to win arguments with your wife. Love does not keep score. It makes no sense to be self-seeking or easily angered or to be keeping a record of any sort. In fact, you may win a few battles but trust me, if you don't learn to bury the hatchet with your wife, don't be surprised if you end up finding yourself living with an old battle axe. So yes, there is something more manly in life than throwing a hatchet. It's learning to forgive others, not just by burying the hatchet, but by getting rid of it completely. Oof! Sorry. Hey, if you'd like a weekly dose of humor, truth, and encouragement, Go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe box and the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. And make sure to check out this week's bonus video where we'll learn everything you need to know about throwing a hatchet. And we'll see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments.